Every solo developer has the same story. You get a sudden rush of inspiration, open VS Code, install super tokens, more on them at the end of the video, and within a few minutes, you've built a beautiful login page, a fancy database schema that looks like you know what you're doing. Spoiler alert, you don't. But then, for whatever reason, the project slowly fades into the shadows of your dev projects folder, joining its siblings. Startup idea final, final final 5.2, and definitely not another to-do app. But why does this happen every single time? Why do solo projects fail so consistently, even when the idea is good and the developer is actually skilled? Because the real reason solo dev projects fail isn't lack of skill or creativity. It's that building something entirely alone turns you into your own worst obstacle. Let's start with the biggest killer of all, scope creep and over-perfectionism. Every solo dev starts Start small, or at least they think they do. Maybe it's a simple productivity app, or a note-taking app, or a budget tracker, but then the brain goes, wait, what if it synced across devices? What if it had AI features to help with budgeting? What if it was a platform instead of an app, and suddenly you've gone from building a weekend project to reinventing Google Tasks? It's like running a marathon where you keep moving the finish line every few kilometers. You're trapped in a loop of just one more feature, and let's refactor this one more time. You're not building a product anymore, you're building a monument to your own indecision. This problem runs deeper than it looks. Psychologically, it's tied to perfectionism and fear of judgment. When you're the only person working on something, it's tempting to believe it has to be flawless before anyone sees it. It was perfect. Perfect. You're afraid that showing it too early will make you look incompetent, so instead of shipping something real, you keep polishing it forever. Developers call this polish paralysis, and it's the number one reason great projects never see daylight. You can even connect it to the Dunning-Kruger effect, early confidence followed by endless overthinking once you realize how complex your idea really is. Then comes the second killer, no feedback loop. When you work alone, you lose something critical, perspective. You build in your own little vacuum, testing, tweaking, improving, but there's no one around to tell you whether what you're building actually makes sense. You convince yourself that your app is revolutionary, but in reality, no one else has even touched it. You're basically talking to yourself in code. Teams survive because they have feedback loops. Other devs, managers, beta testers, even annoying customers. Solo devs, they just have their imagination. Without feedback or accountability, you can't measure progress. You might be improving the wrong things for months and never know it. And when there's no feedback or reward, the next problem hits. Motivation collapse. At the start, you're unstoppable. You're coding for hours. Living off caffeine and dreams, you feel like you're building the next big thing, but after a few weeks, the excitement fades. The dopamine rush you got from starting is gone, and now all that's left is the grind. You open your project folder, stare at the code, and it just feels dead. The honeymoon phase is over. You start avoiding your own project like an ex's Instagram. You tell yourself you're refactoring, but you're really procrastinating. This is pure psychology. The brain is wired to crave visible progress and social validation. When you work solo, you get neither. There's no one cheering you on, no user feedback, no quick dopamine hit from someone liking your post. Without that, your brain starts associating the project with stress, not excitement so you slowly stop touching it altogether. And let's not forget the final nail in the coffin lack of planning and business sense. Most solo devs build like engineers, not entrepreneurs. The mindset is, if I build it, they will come. Spoiler alert, they won't. You can make the cleanest API in existence, but if no one knows about it, it's just you and your local host forever. Solo devs often skip crucial steps like market research, product validation, or a basic growth plan. They think shipping equals success. But shipping isn't the finish line, it's the starting point. So next time you open a new folder and tell yourself, I'll just build this in my free time, remember, start tiny, finish something, and actually share it. Because the real flex isn't building the perfect app, it's shipping something that exists. And one of the most annoying things about coding projects is authentication. That's where today's sponsor, Super Tokens, comes in. Super Tokens is the open source authentication solution that actually gives you full control. Unlike traditional providers that bounce users to a third party redirect, Super Tokens integrates directly into your app's front end and back end. That means no vendor lock in, no black box auth, and way more customization. You can tailor login flows, role based access, or even passwordless authentication exactly the way your product needs. Security is built in by default, with session management and best practices handled out of the box so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Plus, Super Token supports multiple languages and frameworks, with backend SDKs for Node, Go, and Python, front-end SDKs for React and generic JavaScript, with ready-to-use examples for Angular, Vue, Svelte, and Solid and even full-stack integrations for Next, Nuxt, Remix, and Astro. And the neat part, it's open source, so you own your user data and avoid the runaway costs of proprietary platforms. Whether you're building a SaaS app that needs multi-tenant support, or just want a simple, secure login flow without compromise, Super Tokens is built for developers like you. Check out the link in the description to get started. This was Codehead with yet another tech rant. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Lights out.